fire signs what's up what's up how you guys doing deep breath everybody welcome in let's see what's going on for you sun moon rising and venus aries leo sag we are on the precipice of the sagittarian new moon the solar eclipse full solar eclipse this very powerful energy and it is uh absolutely um showing up already for me <laughs> okay so let's see where we go here for you let's see where we go for you Feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So, without further ado, higher power. All that glitters. <laughs> Jupiter showing up big time for you guys. All right. So, Jupiter uh, for Sagis is your ruling planet here. Jupiter. Um, this is, um, some good luck. This is manifesting. Oh, I've never noticed that before. You see the third eye of the higher power here is the key. You see that? There's a little key there on the third eye. I've never noticed that before. Um, this is really about some very, very good luck coming in. It can be about releasing karmic ties. Um, so, you know, what's interesting is one of the things that I have been learning through my own dreams and meditations and doing tarot for myself and doing tarot for you guys, frankly, is that um, a lot of times in twin flame readings, when we talk about the karmic, that can be anybody. It doesn't have to be a love partner. It can be a mother. It can be a father. It can be a sister, brother, best friend, boss, work money relationship karmic energy is stuck until you unstick it okay and so i'm just gonna say that to you like you know sometimes we talk about that and they're like oh yeah they're with an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend but that's not really what we're talking about here it is a bigger issue that someone is tangled up in a karmic situation that isn't allowing them to be available to you right now there's something very strong about that the morning message for December 14th and also the air sign reading might be interesting to you because a lot of fire showed up there too. Okay, especially Leo. Leo and Sag. Okay. Let's see where we go. Fire sign. There you are. Aries. Okay, so Aries. <laughs> Another precinct heard from. <laughs> Wee. All right. Oh, my goodness. Ten of swords. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on there, Bob Louie. That doesn't have to be challenging. There is Sagittarius, Knight of Wands, High Priestess, in the know. High Priestess is showing up. This I love the High Priestess. Five of Swords. Oh, something from the past, really. Woo! Nine of Swords. Oh, my goodness. Queen of Swords. See what I mean about the air sign here? There's something about air sign. Air sign in Pisces. All right. In the moon. There's Libra. For sure. Balancing things out in the moon energy. Wow. Holy cow, fire sign. You're getting free of this jail. Five, eight, nine, ten. This is the end of a cycle. You're unlocking the end of a cycle, my darling, that is going to bring in love and abundance because this is what your higher power has been saying to you. It's okay. So something that you think has been blocking, it's not really that. It could have, okay. There's a big message here. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know how we talk about third parties. We talk about toxic partnerships. And when we're talking about love, or we're talking about relationships. Everything is relationship. Okay, your relationship to your mom, your relationship to your best friend, your relationship to your boss, your relationship to your sister-in-law, your relationship to your aunt or your grandmother, your children, your ex-husband, your ex-wife, all of these things have karmic lessons attached to them, have, you know, things that we need to work through. And there's something here from your past that was really manipulative, okay? And you have been around and around and around in your head about it for a long time. 
This person is a little bit um, secretive. Okay, they're they don't tell the truth about themselves. They're not showing who not showing up for who they truly are. High priestess here is can also be someone like no talkie, like you haven't talked to this person in a while, but you're really seeing the truth. Okay, you're seeing the truth of this person now. You know who they are. And boy, it's been an illusion all this time that you're unlocking for yourself. Wow. This is um big awakening, big awareness. You see that, and this is another thing I never saw in this card. You see the sun in that eight of swords? Because, boy, when you see this Eight of Swords card, you just look at the guy in jail. You don't even see the human, right? You just see the hands, like, I feel powerless. But look at that. There's a sun, all right? There's sun energy there coming in. And the sun energy is coming in through your truth. See behind the Queen of Swords there? And this is like, oh, I see you now. I know what you're doing. And I'm done. I'm going to unlock it. Unlock the karmic. Unlock the karmic. Unlock the freaking karmic. This is what balance looks like. You're seeing that it's an illusion. Okay? You're seeing that everything you've thought about this person has been an illusion. This person could be narcissistic in nature. Or they could have some kind of... Um, let me get more clarity around this person. Who is this person? Eight, nine, ten of swords, chariot, wheel of fortune, king of wands, devil energy, this person's a karmic, person does for themselves, super selfish, okay? They're doing what they want for themselves. I feel like you're taking action and moving yourself forward. This person, um, this person always does what's right for themselves. And I feel like you might have thought, at a long for a long time this person was very selfish and in a negative way like well they're so selfish or or that they've been acting they've been lying about that they're really acting like they're some kind of magnanimous mother teresa and really they're not they're doing what's making them look good okay and what this person is teaching you albeit in a negative way is to do what's right for yourself What's bothering you is that you know somewhere deep down that this person's motives are not pure, okay, are not good. And boy, for a fire sign, especially Sagittarius, someone lies to you, this sticks in your craw. You got to make it right. You got to make it balanced. I got to make them admit it, okay? Something like that, like a, a ex-wife, ex-husband who's been, you know, everybody else in the world thinks they're wonderful. You know the truth. And you're going to damn well make sure that the world knows it. I feel like the universe, that's what's keeping you stuck, though, is that you're going to, you know, make sure the world knows it. You're going you're gonna to show everybody what a jerk they are and, and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like you're keeping yourself locked in this prison, this devil energy prison, because you want truth and justice. You want them to be shown for their narcissistic self. You want others to see it. And... It's a waste of your time. That's their nonsense. You don't have to bring justice to this. To this. You don't have to make sure they get theirs. Because I will say to you, one of the things my mother told me when I was a kid, everybody gets theirs is what she said. It sounds really, you know, like punishment oriented, but everybody gets theirs, but you're not necessarily around to see it. So it's not your job to go avenging things really here, okay? It's your job to speak your own truth and get out of your own head about, yes, this person did manipulate. Yes, if you want someone to tell you the truth that this person was a manipulative jerk and this person was narcissistic, I'm here to tell you, yes, they are. You're right. If you needed that validation, I'm here for it, okay? I'm telling you, this person created an illusion around who they are. And you're wanting to right that ship is keeping you locked in jail, all right? Um, this person is toxic. This person is somebody who thinks of themselves. They're selfish. They go for what they want. They don't care. But flip that around. They do what they want. And it, it's gnawing at you that, why did they get to do what they want? Why is it them? 
remove your attention from this person. Remove your attention and do what you want, right? King of Wands, Emperor, this is about you showing up for what you want. It's so much attention on them because they, they never get outed. They never get punished, right? This is like Jan Brady, Nine of Cups, Judgment, Hanged One, and the Five of Coins. This is, you know, I feel like this person looks to everyone else like they get everything they want. I don't think they do. If that's something that you should know about this, live and let live. Let this person have their little nonsense. Have their little, right? Let them have it. Okay, another episode of MASH that I'm just recalling right now as I'm sitting here. Um, there's an episode of MASH where Hawkeye... Um, reads his hometown newspaper about Crabapple Cove, Maine. And there's a guy called Vernon Parsons. Incredibly average Vernon Parsons is how Hawkeye... I mean, Hawkeye is clearly, you know, a world-class surgeon. Clearly somebody... I mean, he and he has ego about it, so he knows about it. So he can't stand that there's somebody back home getting all the grants, getting all the media attention. He can't stand it. And he's like, incredibly average Vernon Parsons. Why does he get, he went to medical school with him. Why does he get, you know, why is he home, first of all? Why do I have to be here and he's home? Because the world needs Hawkeye. The world doesn't need incredibly average Vernon Parsons, right? The world needs healing, the healing that Hawkeye is bringing. And so that's the arena, okay? That's where he's needed, Okay. Sometimes uh, there's also an episode. I'll, I'll continue on with Vernon Parsons in a second. But there, <laughs> there's also an episode where there's a man who is a bombardier who um, thinks he's Jesus, right? He, 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 you know, has a dissociative. Maybe he is really Jesus. And you know, um, Sydney Friedman, the uh, sh the psychiatrist, says, you know, why are you here in a hospital? Oh, my hospital. And he's like, where should I be? This is where I should be among the people who most need me. So this person is not doing that. This person is somehow insulating themselves from life. It, it seems to you that this could be a coworker, or, you know, Teflon Don, someone who seems to never get their comeuppance, never get, right? This is Jan, like, why does Marsha get everything? Incredibly average Vernon person. So, um... What happens to Hawkeye is he ends up with like a backache so much because it's like he's so angry about this. He's walking around looking like a question mark. And he talks to Colonel Potter and Colonel Potter says, hey, let him have his little grants. Let him have his little thing. And just to give yourself a little present, send him a letter that says he's being, you know, sued for, <laughs> for paternity or something like that. Just give yourself a little present. I'm going to go one further. I'm going to even say to you that you don't even have to do that. But what you do have to do is see this person that they're get you know they're they have their little fiefdom they have their little thing but I think you need to understand that this person is stuck okay this person is stuck and they've created a little fiefdom for themselves but it's very small you look at them and you think that they have everything right you think they have everything but they don't. So I'm here to tell you, if you needed someone to tell you that this person is like, you know, has some kind of um, mental problem, has some kind of, you know, they're being cheated on by their partner, whatever's going to make you feel happy. I don't want you to feel that way. But whatever's going to make you feel like, okay, this person isn't immune to having a lot of problems, okay? And they're just happening not to show you any of that. It's not necessarily, I do feel like for some of you, this person is on purpose trying to make you feel bad about that. That look at me, I got everything I want. You seem like you're having so much trouble. I'm so sorry for you. Like whoever's doing this to you. Um, I feel like understanding that this person has their own problems and that's just a defense against the system, how they're behaving. It's not really, they do want to diminish you, but you can protect yourself against that. You don't need to play this game anymore, okay? So um, I think, you know, they're getting theirs, whatever that means. Um, I think they've created something so insular that they're having no movement in their life, okay? Um, I feel like they could lose a lot of money or something like that, They or they have. They're not going to tell you that, obviously. Um 
and they're at a crossroads in their life, they're never able to turn the corner. They're just not able to do it. They're not awakened or aware enough. And um, I feel like they have, they could have a partner who's very toxic to them or cheating on them or something like that. Okay. So whatever. It's not like schadenfreude. Like we don't take pleasure in other people's pain, but I do feel like the me the message here needs to get through to you that you you expect or you believe this person is like leading this exemplary life and it's just not true, okay? It's just not true and you also need to protect yourself against this person because they lash out. That's why they lash out, okay? That's why they lash out because they're not leading this happy life, okay? Okay, so I definitely see... Um, I see water, so I see Pisces, I see Cancer, I see Libra here. Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. So I'm going to take a look at those. I do see you guys here, but I feel like you're torturing yourself uh, because this person seems to get away with everything, and that's just not true. That's the message for you, okay? They're not getting away with anything. Um, all right. So, uh, if you want to continue on with me, the link is below fire sign. This is December 14th through 16th. Uh, I'll see you over there.